Happy Saturday, Selah, Selah Network. Good morning. Good morning. This is the day the Lord has made and we will rejoice and be glad in it. It's a few minutes before nine. We like to come on just a few minutes before just to give everyone a chance to rise and shine and log on to the Salem Network. I'm Charlene Aaron, and we're excited. We're excited because God is good and God lives big in us and he is worthy to be praised. Praise the Lord. We are just a few days away from Christmas. Where are you guys? Come on, wake up, rise and shine and give God some glory this morning. Praise the Lord. Amen. Good. All of you are ready. Good morning. Good morning. Good morning. Happy Saturday. Selah. David is ready. Good morning. Good morning, everybody. Good morning. Amen. Are you guys excited? Are you excited about the giveaway today? We are giving away. We're announcing the winner of our Selah Christmas giveaway. Praise the Lord. Our hoodie, our Selah hoodie, amen. Our Selah mug and our Selah journal, praise the Lord, and our Selah wristbands. We're excited, amen. Good morning. Thank you, Jesus. Amen. David said, ready. Amen. God is good, you guys. I pray that you're having a wonderful start to the weekend. Amen. Good morning, Kathy. Good morning. Amen. God is so good. And God has a, a word for us this morning. You know, we don't, we don't come on if we don't have a word from the Lord. Amen. We know that God wants to speak uh, to his people through his word. Amen. And so we that's what Selah is all about. Selah means to pause, to reflect, to ponder, <laughs> to think about it. Slow the pace. Amen. Let's just pause. And God has given us a word. Kathy says, I'm the winner. All right. <laughs> Kathy says, I'm the winner. Amen. Thank you, Jesus. Sheila, I don't, I don't know if you had um, submitted your name or not, but we are announcing the winner. We're drawing the winner's name in just a few minutes. Praise God. And my wonderful husband is going to join me for the wonderful reveal. So uh, just give, give you an opportunity to, to, um, to be introduced to him as well, introduce him to you as well. So good morning. Let's pray. And then we're going to jump into this word. And then we're going to uh, close out by, by announcing the winner of the Salem Network uh, giveaway. We, ha we have the names. We have the names. Quite a few names. We already have the names. Stirring, stirring, stirring. So we're going to be drawing. <laughs> hey, David said, now, Kathy, we all know I'm the winner. All right. <laughs> I love it. Praise God. I love it. Amen. Let's pray and just jump into the word this morning. Father, we thank you, Lord God, for the joy of the Lord is our strength. Thank you, Lord God, that you've given us an opportunity uh, and so many reasons to smile today. Lord, despite so much going on in the world, you have given us peace and you have given us joy. And that joy is Jesus. Thank you for Jesus, Heavenly Father. Thank you, Father God, for your good gift to us that just keeps on giving. Jesus Christ, you are the reason, Lord God, that we're able to smile today. You are the reason we have joy deep down in our souls today. It is you, Lord Jesus, and we are so grateful. Thank you for the body of Christ, my brothers and my sisters from all across the world, Lord God. I just thank you for uniting us through Jesus Christ. Thank you for knitting our hearts together. Thank you for the love that we share, even though we've never met one another. We know that's a gift from you, Father. And we just thank you. I thank you for each one. And I ask that you bless them in this season, this Christmas season. Lord, I ask that you would bless them and, and give them Christmas miracles and open doors for them and strengthen them and encourage them and comfort them as only you can, Father. And we just love you, Lord, and we just bless you. And we just lift you up because you're the greatest gift, Lord God. Thank you for all you've done. Thank you for who you are. Holy Spirit, we welcome you. We delight in you and we desire you. So we open our hearts and we open this space for you, Holy Spirit. Come in and do what only you can do. We love you and we worship you, Father. It is in Jesus' name. Amen and amen. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Y'all ready for the word this morning? All right. We are. We have a theme for today. We have a, a thought for today. We have a, a, a Selah 
um, something to meditate on today. And it is guard your time. Somebody type that in. Guard your time. This week I've been just meditating and the Lord was just really speaking to me. And he was like, you know, it's important that you guard your time. You know, you hear the saying that time is money. Time is money. Time is currency. So you can only spend it once. So be careful how you spend. Listen to what it's saying. Spend. When you think of something, when you spend, that means you're going to buy something, right? So God is saying he wants us to guard our time. Be careful how we spend time. All right. So we're looking at the scripture um, Ephesians chapter five, verses 15 through 17, Ephesians 5, 15 through 17. And if you'd like, just, you know, write that scripture down and do the principles of read, write, meditate, and pray. You read the scripture, amen. You write it out in your own handwriting and then you meditate on it. And you, you write down the thoughts that God is giving you as you meditate in that scripture, all right? And then you pray about what God is speaking to you about concerning that scripture. So Ephesians 5, 15 through 17, we're talking about guarding our time. And it says, see then that you walk circumspectly. And that means carefully, diligently. So God says, we're to walk carefully and diligently, not as fools, but as wise. Wow. God says he wants us to be wise. Verse 16, redeeming the time because the days are evil. Redeeming the time because the days are, are evil. Wherefore, be ye not unwise. And he says it again. Don't be unwise, but understanding what the will of the Lord is is. Amen. See then that you walk carefully, that you walk diligently, not as unwise, but as wise, redeeming the time. In other words, that word redeeming, it means to rescue or to buy back. And God is saying, I want you to buy back time that you've been wasting. He wants us to take the time to be careful, to guard. That word guard means to protect Protect your time because, you know, once you spend time, when you're spending, that means you're buying something. What we're buying, is it causing me to grow spiritually? Is it leading me, whatever I'm spending my time doing, is there any type of eternal benefit for the kingdom, for me, for the things of God? What am I spending my time doing? Remember, time is currency. Time is money. And you can only spend it once. You, once. you can't get time back once it's gone. So God is saying, I want you to be wise. I want you to walk circumspectly, carefully, spend carefully. We talk about we need to spend our money carefully, but God says we need to spend our time carefully, be redeeming the time. That means to buy up every opportunity that is presented to us. We all don't know how much time we have left on this earth. We don't know. So what are we doing with our time? Redeeming the time because the days are evil. The word says the days are evil. So how, because the days are evil, we should be spending, spending our time buying things that are going to benefit us spiritually, that are going to benefit us in the kingdom. So how are we spending our time? Wherefore, be ye not unwise. Don't be unwise, be wise, right? Be ye not unwise, but understanding what the will of the Lord is. Lord, what is your will for me in this time, in this kairos? That word time means kairos in this season. That's what kairos means. 
It means the season or the opportunity. With the opportunity that you and I have right now, how are we spending our time, our kairos? So when you think about time, think of, about an opportunity, think about a season. What se- God wants you to understand what season you're in right now. And what are you doing with the time that he has for you in this season? Hallelujah. What is your, what, Father, what, we should be asking God, Father, what is what do you want me to do in this season? What you did last season, God may, may be saying, you can't do that in this season, in this time. This is a different time. You got away with it in the in the past. And maybe it's not anything egregious or sinful, but God is saying, I need you to invest your time doing something different, doing something that's not pulling you away from the word, that's not pulling you away from my presence, that's not pulling you away from prayer. God is saying, I want you to guard your time. And, and when we think about spending you know we have money it's christmas season we're buying gifts and presents and all that stuff but god is saying how are you spending your time i want you to think about that for a moment i want you to say la that for a moment how am i spending my time because when you're spending that means you're buying something if you're spending that means you're investing you're, you're, you're going to get a return, but is it, a, is it a return that is beneficial to me spiritually? Oh, God, help me, Jesus. I'm telling you, this is for me just as much as it is for you guys. Guard your time. I mean, you know, when we, we can all agree that there have been times that we have spent our time foolishly. We wasted time. How many of you feel like you've wasted time? I think we've all wasted time at one point or another in our lives. And God is saying, I want you to stop wasting time. I want you to spend, invest your time wisely, understanding what the will of the Lord is. Amen. So let's guard our time. Let's be careful how we spend our time. You know, to be wise is to have spiritual and practical wisdom. Spiritual and practical wisdom. Amen. So God wants us to spend. When you spend money, that means you're buying something, right? So when you're spending time, you're investing something and you're going to get a return. So is the return a spiritual return or a natural return? So God wants us to guard, protect our time. He wants us to walk circumspectly. And that word walk means to live. God says, I want you to live circumspectly that word circumspectly it means diligently and carefully and you guys ready for a, a, a an iq booster this morning you know we like boosting our iq here on sela that word circumspectly means ac- acribos a k r i b o s acribos that means diligently Carefully, God wants us to live acribos, live carefully. Be careful how you're living, be careful with your time, guard your time, be wise with your time. Don't just waste time. We can waste hours upon hours upon hours on scrolling on Instagram, don't we? Scrolling on Facebook, reading stuff online, watching movies, watching TV. What is that doing for me spiritually? What is that doing for, am I sowing to my spirit or am I sowing to my flesh? And I'm not saying we're never to ever watch TV or watch a movie, but if we're spending way more spending, here's that word, spending 
way more time in watching movies, scrolling on Instagram or Facebook, and not as much time studying the word and praying. Is that wise? I'm saying ouch too. Ouch. Yes. We all need to do better. Time is valuable. Somebody typed it in. Time is valuable. Spend it wisely. Time is valuable. Let's spend it wisely. Amen. Time is valuable. Spend it wisely. Be careful. Be akribos. Careful, diligent, how we're walking, how we're using our time. Let's guard our time. The enemy wants us to waste time. I've wasted enough time in my life. I know I can say that I have wasted enough time in my life and I'm not looking at wasting any more time. Time is valuable. That's right. Spend it wisely. Even over the holiday season, let's think about how we're spending our time. You know, let's let's not get so caught up in all of the commercialism of the Christmas season. And let's 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 really guard our time. Even married couples, I feel like this is a word right now for married couples. You need to guard your time together. Spend time together, praying together. Minister to one another. Minister to your children. Amen. Let's minister to our families. Let's guard our time and spend our time at Rebos wisely, diligently, circumspectly. Amen. Time is valuable. Spend it wisely. Father, thank you for this word. We thank you for, whew, again, speaking to our hearts and challenging us to spend our time wisely. You, you, you've given us the admonition to walk circumspectly, diligently, and carefully, redeeming the time, spending it wisely. You said not as unwise, but as wise, understanding what the will of the Lord is. Thank you for speaking to each of our hearts. You know where each of us are in our time, in our walk with you. Thank you for speaking to our hearts about what we should be doing in this season, in this Kairos time, Father God. Forgive us for wasting time, Lord God. Help us, Jesus. It's so easy to just be pulled away, but help us to exercise self-control, which is a fruit of your Holy Spirit. So we thank you, Lord God, for this time. Thank you for um, helping us to redeem the time because the days are truly evil. We are living in perilous times, Lord. And I just speak a blessing upon my sisters and my brothers, Lord God. Thank you for encouraging them with this word. Thank you for growing us up and maturing us Father God, in the things of your kingdom. We ask this blessing today, Father, in Jesus' name. Amen. Amen, Salem family. All right. Let's guard our time. Amen. And we are now, praise the Lord. Are you guys ready? Do we do we have something else to do before we go? Is there is there is there one more thing that we need to do before we leave, before we hang up? Come on, honey. I'm gonna invite you over right now. Is there anything that we need to be doing right now, family? All right. This is my wonderful husband, Pastor Leon Aaron. <laughs> Good morning, Sailor family. It's, I don't think he's been on. I don't think he's been on Sailor before. Uh, maybe this might be my second time. Second time. Yes. Amen. Dawn says, hello, Pastor. Good morning, Dawn. Good morning. Cindy says, good morning, Pastor. Hello to everyone. <laughs> God bless you all. Is there something we're supposed to be doing right now? Let's see. Uh, breakfast? Yeah. I think we're supposed to be having breakfast, right? Yes. yes, yes yeah, breakfast. that sounds good. 
Is now, there anything else? Yes. What is, what's going on? We are supposed to be having a drawing this morning. Oh, a drawing for what? Uh, uh, a drawing for sailor gifts Ooh. to a special someone. Wow. Denise says hello, Pastor, too. <laughs> look, look. Da David says, touch it, agree with me, Pastor. <laughs> Praise God. Well, we are going to be drawing the name of the Sailor Christmas giveaway. And the giveaway includes the Sailor hoodie, woo, the Sailor hoodie, the Sailor mug, the Sailor journal, and the Sailor wristbands. And we're going to, that's why we have Pastor with us today. Amen. Are you guys excited? They're saying good morning, Pastor. Ellen says good morning. Good morning. <laughs> all right. You ready? Yes. But you've got it all shaken up? Why don't I shake it up and you pull the name? Okay. Why don't we do that? I'll shake it up and have Pastor pull the name. All right, you guys? Woo! Shake it, shake it, shake it, shake it. Woo! All right. Here it comes. Let's get a let's look at a drum roll. Hold on. Da, 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 da. Okay. You ready? Y'all ready? Okay. <laughs> and the uh, winner is Audra Daniel. Daniel. Audra, Audra Daniel. Daniel. I don't know if Audra is on this morning, but Audra, you are the winner of the Sailor Christmas giveaway. You're gonna get this beautiful Sailor Saturday Sailor hoodie. You're going to get the Sailor Network mug, the Sailor Journal, and the Sailor wristbands. Woo! I don't know if Audra is on. Congratulations. What would you like to say to the winner, honey? Well, now, my wife does not know what I'm about to say. But what I want to say is that I want us to have one more drawing. Pastor, y'all. We're we're gonna do double. This all right, morning, all right. If it's okay, it's with okay you. with you. All right. Pastor said so, another winner. Okay. So we're gonna shake it up one more time. All right, all right. <laughs> and there's someone else out there that's gonna be the bless. All right. Person. Okay. To receive the Christmas. Another gift. winner. Oh one my more. goodness. One more. I'll shake it up. One more. <laughs> David said, thank God for pastor. <laughs> oh, my goodness. <laughs> read her name. Read her name. Susie Carr. Susie Carr. <laughs> wow. We've got two winners. Amen. Audra Daniel and Susie Carr. Oh my God. Look at this, guys. Susie Carr and Audra Daniel are the winners. Praise the Lord. We've got two winners. Our wonderful Saturday Sailor hoodie. Our Sailor Network mug. Sip, sip. And journal and the wristbands. Amen. And we will be... Look at David talking about one more for the Holy Ghost. <laughs> <laughs> Congratulations to our winners, Susie Carr and Audra Daniel. God bless you. We will be contacting you guys. I don't think they're on this morning. We will be contacting them by email and getting those uh, wonderful Christmas gifts out to the both of them. You guys are all winners. You know that in Jesus' name. Amen. Pastor, we're going to have you have the last words and um, close us out. Well, we want to wish you all a most joyous holiday season. We thank God for each and every one of you all. Uh, I cannot express to you all how much God loves you. And this season is all about love. His love for you all that he sent his only begotten son. Mm -hmm. And we have to really dig in deep to fully understand that, that a God would love someone like me that he would send his only begotten son for us and i want you to know you are special 
you were special before the foundation of the world yeah. and up to this very moment and throughout eternity, you are special to God. And we want to know that. And with that being said, because God lived within us, amen, we have to love each other. Mm -hmm. The season about being love and giving love. Mm -hmm. And we want you all to love on each other. Amen. amen. Be a blessing to someone and know that you are very, very special to God. Amen. Amen. Father, we just want to thank you this morning for you being so awesome. You're the best father of them all. We have bowed our heads and hearts towards you this morning. We just want to lift you up. We want to give you all the praise, all the honor, all the glory. There's no one like you. And we just exalt you and magnify you today. And thank you for loving us so much that you would send your son to be our savior. And in this season, we recognize you, Father. We recognize your diligence and, and caring and providing and being so long suffering for us. So we bless you this morning on this beautiful Saturday morning. We bless you. We lift you up. We thank you for your wonderful son, our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ. We thank you that we are celebrating his birth. We thank you for this season. Thank you. We thank you. And Father, we just pray that throughout this season, may we grow to be more, to look more and be more like your son, Jesus. Yes. That his face will be our face and his heart will be our heart and his hands will be our hands, Lord. And that we'll look more and more like him. And we just thank you for this opportunity to just to worship you. We thank you for this opportunity just to feel your love and, and to return our love towards you, to let you know how much you mean to us as well, to let you know how much we care, to let you know that we love you with all our hearts. And this morning, thank you for this season. Thank you for all the fellowship of the, uh, the Sailor uh, fans this morning, yes. the Sailor family. We thank you for thank our you fellowship, for Lord God. We thank you yes. for the, the days and years we spent together yes. just digging into your word and growing. And we just thank you for all the blessing that you have given us. Yes. So we just acknowledge you one more time this morning. And we're going to end this prayer by thanking you for loving us. Yes. And we want to say one more time that we love you we very love much. You very much. Lord. In Jesus' name we pray. Jesus name we pray. Amen. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. 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 God bless you, Sailor family. And as Pastor said, we love you and you are very special. Amen. Love on somebody today. Share the news of Jesus Christ that he is the reason for the season. And he says, we are the reason for the season. Amen. He came for us. Yes. So we are the reason that he came. We're the reason that he came. We're the reason for the season. We love you guys. And we will be contacting our winners, Susie Carr and Audra Daniel, the winners of our Selah Christmas giveaway. Thank you all for all of those who registered, for all of those who took part. God bless you. And we're going to hopefully have some more giveaways uh, down the road throughout the, uh, the year, maybe for some other holidays, maybe uh, Valentine's or something, Mother's Day, that kind of thing. So we don't need a special day. We don't need a special day to, give. to have a giveaway. That's right. All right. Now, y'all hear? See, that's why I love Every it. day is special. Yes. So tune in <laughs> to find out when. David, talking about a recount. <laughs> <laughs> Amen. God bless you all. We love you. And remember, Selah. And keep, keep it, it holy. holy. All right. Amen. Love you guys. Bye-bye. God, God bless you.